Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be my May favorites. Oh my god, so crazy saying that. I know like every single person says that, but seriously, we're halfway through the year. Literally crazy. Um, it's summertime. I'm so, so happy. I went for like more of like a dark, vampy, sexual look today. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm just really excited. I obviously was out of my comfort zone today with this look, but I just wanted to go ahead and film a favorites video for you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it out there that this video is sponsored by V2, and I'll talk more about, like, what it is and everything, um, in my favorites video. So, if you guys are interested in seeing this, then please keep watching. So like I was saying, this video is sponsored by V2, and obviously I wouldn't do a sponsored video if I'm not 100% behind something, but I actually really, really, really like these. So pretty much what these are is it's a O2M oxygen eye mask, and I'm sure you guys have seen like variations of these or some sort like that. I know Ulta has a few brands, and I like theirs too, but these ones are really, really good. I'll kind of just show you what they look like. Um, this is a pack. I don't know how many come in this pack, but I think mine's like the big pack. Um, you open it and it just looks like this. And then pretty much it says, after facial cleansing, opening the bag along the gap and extracting eye mask from the aluminum bag, tearing up the light membrane, applying the mask around the eye, gently pressing it to assist the skin, absorbing the nourishment and the mask. Light masks work their brightening and hydrating magic no more than eight hours and then remove. So, I mean, clearly, obviously, it's just like a gel-like eye mask that you put underneath your eye and oh my god these give such a good tingling sensation you can really feel it like de-puffing and taking away darkness they're just so so good um like it says you can wear them up to eight hours so you can fall asleep with them and then wake up and take them off but i personally don't wear them like that right when i get out of the shower and if i've had like a long 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 day and i still have to do my makeup for night I'll go ahead, pop a pair of these on, and just sit in my beauty room while I'm doing like my brows and stuff, and then like basing my eyes, and then I'll go ahead and just take them off, and that's about like an hour I'll leave them on. Um, that's what I like to use them for. Like I said, I don't know how many come in my box, but I've had quite a bit, and they're just really, really good. You guys know, like I said, for me personally, these helped with my um, puffiness underneath my eyes because my eyes, especially where I live right now in the summer, the allergies are so so bad and I like to just pop them underneath and it really helps de-puff my eyes. That's what I've seen the most improvement. I am going to insert a clip for you. Here is a clip of me applying these underneath my eyes. Like I mentioned, this is 8 hour overnight treatment but I only use it for about an hour and it's a gel like texture. Depending on you, it can help with eliminating fine lines, dark circles, puffy eyes and bags and like I said, it really helps with puff my puffy eyes. That was all about the V2 Oxygen Eye Mask. I'll leave everything you guys need to know about these down below. Okay, so my next favorite for this month, I feel like I just have to talk about this. This is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze. This is in the shade one. It comes in three different shades and this pan is huge. I'm just obsessed with this bronzer. I love it for a glam look. I love it for a natural look, everything. Um, it's so smooth and buttery. That's what it looks like. Has a little bit of like a shimmery iridescence to it, but nothing that's like too overwhelming. Um, it's not too orange. It's not too cool. It's just a really good bronzer. Um, for the drugstore, it is a little bit pricey though. I believe this runs for like $14.99 depending where you get it, but the pan size is good. It's very buttery. I love the three shades they have. I think L'Oreal did a bomb job with this, so check this bronzer out if you haven't. I'm just going to go ahead and get these out of the way because I feel like I have to talk about them. I haven't had them this whole month, but... <sighs> Jeffree Star Highlighters. I have a whole video about this. I'll leave it linked down below. I have a giveaway going on, so enter that, but I mean, like, oh, we can't, like, I can't even, like, is it even necessary to talk about these? Like... They kind of talk for themselves. Like I said, I have a full, full, full video on his four highlighters. I'll make sure I link it down below for you guys to check out if you're interested. But check these highlighters out. They're so good, so worth the money, so pigmented. And like I talk about in my like review, the pan size is just like ridiculous compared to a normal highlighter. Like you just, you can't beat the price, I think. It's really, really great. They're good quality. And I mean like... Glow bitch. Talk about this foundation. Um, I was using it like at the very beginning of the month and then I took a break, 
went to the Born This Way from Too Faced, and now I'm just back on it. It's what I'm wearing today. This is the Tarte Double Duty Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation in the shade Fair Light Neutral. That was a mouthful, but pretty much this foundation is bomb. It is a very full coverage foundation, and a little bit goes a long, long, long way. Trust me when I say that. I'm not going to open this because it's very messy, which I hate, but this foundation is so good. It makes your skin feel very hydrated, but not like oily and greasy if that makes sense like it's it's hard to explain but it's a really good foundation if you haven't tried out this Tarte one I highly recommend it um I think Tarte is always having like a sale of some sort it seems like they have going on their website um for Memorial Day I know they had like a 20 off and stuff like that so if you can check this out I would definitely recommend it I know it's sold at Ulta and Tarte.com and that's it but this foundation is bomb and I can't wait to try out their concealer that they're launching soon for this line. The face powders um, I want to kind of touch base on. I don't really talk about like baking my face or anything like that, but these are two really great powders. This is the RCMA No Color Powder that I just got. And then this is the Laura Mercy A Translucent Setting Powder, which I always, always, always use. Um, I wanted to talk about these two because I feel like this one is super big right now. And this one is just like a holy grail in any person's like collection. But um, one huge difference that I saw between these two is I feel like the RCMA powder does a bomb job. Like just like the Laura Mer or the RCMA does a bomb job, just like how the Laura Mercier one does. The only difference I've noticed is when I go back in to clean up my contour, this doesn't fully erase how the Laura Mercy A one does, if that makes sense. Like this one is full coverage and it swipes away whatever you want. This one you really have to like bake and pile on. But nonetheless, this is a great, great powder for $12 instead of like, I think this one's 37 or 47 I don't know. This one's really expensive, so this one's a great alternative. Plus, you only get one ounce in this, which is nothing, and you get three in this. So both these powders are really, really good. If you want, like, more of a full coverage and you're doing that whole baking thing, then definitely go with this one. A few glitters I wanted to kind of talk about. Um, I've used these on Instagram, and I kind of, I think I talked about them on Snapchat. Um, these are the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Arts. I first thought these were nail polishes because they're like by the nail polishes in the Revlon aisle but they're not they're actually like duos so pretty much one side which is this side is like a um, stick cream that's what it looks like just like a stick cream and then the other side is like a glitter like that and these are so good. These are only $9.99, and I say only because that's a steal. These, seriously, are so great. They last forever. They're very pigmented, super easy to blend, and very, very easy to use. I mentioned that they remind me a lot of the Dose of Color Ideal Duos, which I love these so much. But I think these are $29, and I just think that's kind of a ripoff. But these are really great if you're looking to try something really comparable comparable to the ideal duos i highly recommend these revlon ones they're less than half the price and they're just as good in my opinion so something i feel like i never talk about on my channel is mascara and i just want to shout this one out this is a two Faced better than sex this has been my ride or die for seriously a few years now and i just love it it is so good it makes your lashes look very fluffy and big and it's just it's such a good mascara it's also a really great like prepping lash mascara if that makes sense i love using this when i go in with like fluffy lashes like the ones i'm wearing now because i just feel like it all sticks together and just grabs in and it's just oh my god this mascara is really really good i know a lot of people complain that this one flakes and um people said the waterproof one helps with that i've never tried the waterproof one but i love this one for my last few favorites, I just have like two lippy favorites. The first thing I want to talk about is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lips. I don't know if I've ever mentioned these in a favorites video, but these are so bomb. This is the shade Posh Bite. I just have it sitting in front of me, but um, pretty much, I think I have talked about these actually in a favorites, but whatever. So pretty much um, you get a Dofa applicator. It has like a little lip inside that collects product. So when you go on, it's just really smooth and really, really easy to use. I think his liquid lips are seriously the best on the market. You cannot beat them. They're always sold out, so it's always hard to get your hands on certain colors. 
But when they do restock, I highly recommend you guys check these out because they're just so, so, so bomb. Recently, Huda Beauty launched her lip contours, and I'm wearing this one right now. This is in the shade Famous. I have all of them except one, and it's like the hot pink one. I'm not really like a hot pink lip girl, but this is in the shade Famous, and these lip contours are so good. They remind me of like a MAC lip liner infused with a Kylie lip kit liner. Like they're not super drying like the MAC ones, but they're not as creamy as the Kylie ones. They're like dead on right in the middle. I'll just go ahead and swatch this one for you guys. I will say I don't, I think it's in my purse. My favorite one out of the whole line is Bombshell. It's that shade is a must have. I don't care what skin tone you are. You need Bombshell in your life. But this is what Famous looks like. I mean, one swatch, super pigmented, very, very creamy. I love how, like, they just glide. They last forever. They feel good on the lips. They don't feel chalky. They don't feel cakey. I know they're pretty much all sold out right now with Sephora, but you guys need to check these out. And she also says she's coming out with liquid lipsticks, which so excited but um yeah these are the Huda Beauty lip contours it for my favorites this month I hope you guys enjoyed it like I mentioned I will leave the v2 oxygen mask down below if you guys are interested in them like always please give this video a thumbs up leave me comments down below on what your favorites were for the month so I can go shopping and yeah that is pretty much it I love you guys thank you for watching and I'll see you next time